we've had a really robust uh, mural program for a couple of years now, one of the largest in the country. Uh, today we have a mural festival. It's the first one in the state of New Jersey, one of the largest in the regions that'll have um, you know, 80 artists doing more than 35 murals, uh, some of the best known names in street art around the world. Now look like, look away. It's been a tough year and I do view art and an investment in arts and culture as the reason that cities are desirable places to live. And so, you know, you see a lot of cities making different types of bets on what's going to make them an attractive place, um, whether it's technology investment or low taxes. Here in Jersey City, we think ultimately people want to live in a place with the creative class, with arts and culture. The pandemic is over. so. There's like a lot of joy. So my piece is like all the, my Delusionville characters all being happy and there's a giant rainbow coming out of a cloud like splashing them all with different colors. I just thought about Statue of Liberty as like, you know, Jersey Girl and that theme and I kind of wanted to paint kind of like two modern representations of like, I guess the, you know, the, the flaming beacon. So this artwork is, I was invited by the Jersey City Mural Festival and um, as it was somewhat underground, I decided to do something sort of cryptish. And um, I typically do female figures and collage. So this image is, it's about life and death and rebirth. 